People also wonder why you'd want to take an anthropology class or study anthropology for the future. The number one question students ask me uh, is kind of out of concern for a career or why am I doing this or why did you get into it? So real quickly, how I got into it is <clears throat> because I love to travel. I mean, I'm talking to you right now from the city of Madrid in Spain. I mean, my career has allowed me to travel around the world, to work in amazing places, learn new languages. Uh, I'm a professor, which is a great job. But I don't have to have become a professor. You major in anthropology and then go on in anthropology. There's so many things you can do with it. And I have friends who are forensic accountants who travel the world um, finding out whether it's World Bank money is going to the right location. Somebody else who's a buyer for Macy's department store of art and exotic uh, materials. Uh, friends of mine who work with the FBI. Friends of mine who are forensic anthropologists. Friends of mine who uh, work for the State Department. Uh, just anything. I mean, you could become a librarian out of becoming an anthropologist major, being an anthropology major. You could work uh, in the private sector doing archaeology, which is very lucrative. Um, there's many multi-million dollar uh, firms uh, right here in the Bay Area uh, that specialize in archaeology and environmental resource management and things like that. The list goes on and on. Museums is another thing. If you want to go to graduate school, say, for something different for law school or for medical school, an anthropology degree is critical for these sorts of um, application processes to law school or medical school. They want to see that you've been able to diversify, that you can deal with people, that you understand other cultures. It's not all about your biology class or your chemistry class any longer. If you can say that you double majored or that you were uh, capable of um, writing a re an investigative social science paper uh, in some aspect of some culture. Perhaps you take a medical anthropology class with us. That augments um, your um, degree going forward. The key thing here is, from my perspective, is to use anthropology and the parts of anthropology that you like, because it's a very interesting subject, to round out and balance your career goals. Specifically in anthropology, if you want to become an anthropologist, it will not be lucrative. There is no way that you're going to make a lot of money. Will you enjoy yourself and have a blast doing it? Of course. Okay. Can you use anthropology to get into a four-year college as a transfer? Yes, you can. Anthropology is what we call a non-impacted major. When you have a non-impacted major, it's a major that the four-year institutions like UCLA uh, and San Jose State are, have spaces available in anthropology. The departments of anthropology in these universities want students and, in fact, uh, raise their profile if they have student applications from transfer institutions like Foothill, especially good transfer institutions like Foothill. Therefore, the transfer process is easier if you are an anthropology major. Can you change your major once you get there? Yes, you can, I would argue. Uh, you can change your major at places like UCLA rather easily. I would suggest that you don't change your major, you stay in anthropology. But you can, and it's not that difficult as long as you've been taking the classes that are necessary to change. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more updates on your career and career paths uh, going forward. Because I think that's an important aspect of this uh, class as we have a development of kind of a discussion about what you're doing uh, in this class specifically and then going forward.